Singer Dorian Jacob, a native of Holland, is known to thousands of Nigerians all over the world as Onyibo Jesu, an alias she earned for her talent in singing songs in Yoruba, one of Nigeria's ethnic languages. Like many artists, Dorian chose music over a certificate, a Bachelor of Nursing. Music started for me very, very early onwards. From when I was about six, seven years old, I was playing in choirs, you know. I was playing actually music from a very early age onwards. Her musical career took a new path in 2002 when she met and married Abiodun Jacob, a Nigerian songwriter and producer who taught her how to sing in his native language, Yoruba. I was in choirs, so, but it was never secular. It was always gospel, it was always Christian music because I've been brought up in a very Christian way. Until I met my husband and he saw that I had like the kind of, you know, the way I could pronounce Yoruba, he now said, hey, let me teach you some songs. And that's where it started from, but before that I never, I never even knew any, anything like Nigeria or Lagos or anything like that. Surprisingly, she says learning to sing in another tongue was no uphill task, especially because it is a gift from God. God gives you a talent or a gift or he's called you to do something, it, it's not difficult. Um, it's never been difficult for me to grab songs. It is just, you know, once he teaches me, I follow it. And then, of course, you know, I have to know the meaning and everything like that. I don't speak Yoruba fluently. That's the thing. I can understand it, but I don't speak it fluently. But when it comes to singing, it just flows. Though many of her songs are covers, Dorian has taken a step further to producing original works which are contained in two albums, Uluamo Dupe, meaning Lord I'm Thankful, and the newly released Ijoayo, Dance of Joy. Um, Ijoayo took well over a year, I think. It's just, you know, sometimes even, you know, li life goes on in a way, so, you know, time goes very quickly. Um, my husband, he, like I said, he, comp he composes the music. He always says that angels come in the night and they, they give him the music, and I believe him completely for that because he's a very spiritual man. And, um, um, you know, it's the message to put out there that, you know, you, especially in Ijoayo, you know, whatever problems you face, whatever trouble you face, you know, dance for joy because God will will and can make everything possible in life. Um, so that, that is the main song of the album. Um, um, the, the main thing for us as well was to put a video out there because the thing is I'm a white person and the audio, they hear it, they think it's a Nigerian woman singing and they don't believe it's me. So we said, people were asking for video for a long time. So we said, okay, now, now is the time. We're gonna put out a video. Everything will be colored in video. She also tries to sing in other Nigerian languages as well as perform with several instruments, the flute, guitar, piano, and violin to attract more people to her brand. Mainly, I do a few in Igbo, I try. <laughs> but of course, my husband is a Yoruba man, so that will be the main thing. But yeah, I try and mix it up because, you know, it has to be attractive for everybody. Um, um, English, yes, I try. I try my best. But actually, you know, Yoruba is easier for me than <laughs> ministering in English. Um, that's how it has become by the glory of God. Um, so in, in especially m mainly the audio is mainly Yoruba, Yoruba based. Well, with, with the video, we've tried to mix it up in English and Yoruba so that, you know, everybody can understand. Having performed at several functions in Nigeria and abroad, Doran says many still get surprised when she sings 
but there are some who seem unimpressed no matter what she does. I think most of it is actually really, really positive. It's just, um, you know, the surprise of, you know, especially Yoruba people, they love their culture so much, you know, they are so proud of it. So whenever they hear somebody taking that and actually making it into something good, they're really proud of it. Um, so most of it is very, very good. You know, you've got a few in there that say, oh, what is this? You know, I can sing in English, I can sing in front. What's this about? Well, for me, it's not even about that. It's getting the message around that, you know, God is alive and, and please, you know, don't, don't let it be too late until you give your life to Jesus. And for me to do it in this way, I think for people to hear their <clears throat> even their own their own old songs that they know from a very young age out of somebody that they don't expect it from, they will hear the message again. So, but most of it is very positive. <laughs> Notwithstanding the different responses she gets, her hope is to promote positive values and harmony in the world. Um, we have a song that says, If 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 which says that, you know, we have to have love for each other. And that is the message that, you know, that's the song that creates peace. Um, because what I'm trying to say is, you know, I know that I'm coming as a white people into your culture. And that's not because I'm better or I'm no at all. That is because I want to say that, you know, white and black, you know, we're all together. Any churches, we're all together in a way. You know, you can, you might you know, serve God in another way that I do, or you prefer to go to this church, or you prefer to go to that church, because that, you know, that, that you know, interacts with your, your mindset or your spiritual way. But in a way, you know, we're all together. There is only one God, and there is only one God that we serve. And, and that's the message that we're trying to get out there, that, hey, you know, don't forget God is one God, and we are all one in Christ. <laughs> With her husband and children deeply involved in a musical career, the question of balance is easily raised. It's a very busy um, kind of lifestyle, um, but by the glory of God, you know, yes, it is in a way always integrated because a ministry, even the family, if you look into the, fa into, into the video, the kids are in the video. So, you know, we're trying to make it a very much of kind of family thing to say to the kids as well, hey, you know, you know, God is there and we're trying to bring the message out to them as well. But, you know, as a family, we just try to, you know, be together, communicate together. You know, we are a lovely family together. So it's just trying to find a balance sometimes that you say, hey, we've got some family time now. You know, we just have to, <laughs> you know, spend some time with the kids. Oh, Lord, we... 